My mom tried to be there for me most of the time, but she just couldn't do it because she had to work two to three jobs just to support me and pay rent. When I was 14 years old, my, uh, my mother was deported and I ended up moving in with my older brothers who are alcoholics and drug addicts. They did not care about what I was trying to do or who I really was. I first met Cesar when I was invited to go speak to the Ida B. Wells schools. He's been in multiple households. He's had folks that don't believe in education and didn't reinforce his capabilities. A tough situation given his background. The Alliance for Education has been one of our key partners in the work that we do at the University of Washington, getting children and their families ready for college. I serve on the Alliance for Education board and in that role have worked with the Seattle College Access Network for a number of years in partnership with Seattle Public Schools and community-based organizations. The Dream Project is a course at the University of Washington. Um, it's a student-led project. They have a course about educational equity and access, and university students then go out into the public schools and serve as mentors for students and families. The Alliance plays a really important role in public education in Seattle, primarily supporting students in public education and identifying gaps and trying to find ways that all students can succeed. My brothers ended up kicking me out and I walked to the park and I slept in the park for about a week. I didn't know what to do, I was lost. I just thought the only thing that's gonna save me is educating myself and going to college. Cesar's story is one of resilience and determination. Here's someone who had a number of obstacles in his family and his education path, and yet he figured out the things that he needed to do in order to complete high school, but also to be college ready. We need to have organizations like Dream Project and networks like SCAN that can really fill in some of those gaps and help those students find what they need so that we as a society aren't missing out on the positive contributions that they're gonna make in their future. The Alliance has been critical in raising issues about college access, raising issues about the need to improve our education systems, and then bringing people together. So we have to start early, and SCAN is filling that, that gap by getting students to start thinking about college early, we're giving them the information and we're surrounding them with a network of people who are going to help them get there. The type of education I was receiving changed my perception on life and, and society and made me think about how it is that I can help out my community. It's great to see all of these partners that come together and you have an outcome where someone like Cesar is able to succeed through that. What we need to do is be able to do that for every student that needs our support.